Yo, what up? This is KK from Torture. This is 10 Questions with. Torture started back in July 2022. I saw the images of the Abu Ghraib prison torture and it really affected me deeply. And I, I felt like I needed to express myself, like my anger. I made three albums in the style of gore noise, free jazz. Yeah, that's how it started, July 2022. I literally just sit with my amp and I just like plug in, write riffs. I just sit there for like an hour, like take, take my meds, drink my tea, play some riffs. <laughs> and I just record a bunch of voice memos and then I put them together later in Guitar Pro. I mainly use Guitar Pro for like everything, for like composition, everything. So yeah, that's basically what it's like. I'm excited to answer this one because a lot of people say like our new album is a lot like jazz. It, there is jazz elements within it, like polyrhythms and like crazy time signatures and stuff. But I was really going more for like early 20th century avant-garde classical music more so. The first three albums I did, those are like, those are supposed to be jazz, like free jazz mainly. So yeah, I would say that's the big, biggest misconception for sure. First one, Aesthetic Upholstery of Molested Dead Flesh by Cephalotropsy. It's time signatures are so crazy in that song, I fucking love it. And the second song, Keep It Going by Xavier So Based. Fuck no. Hardest part about being in a band, I would say, I would probably say being on the road. I, I'm really grateful to have like my best friends with me on the road, so it makes it a lot better for me. But it's still a lot, you know, like driving eight hours to places every day. It's a little daunting, but like this is my dream and I just want to do this shit for the rest of my life, so might as well get used to it now. Pictures I use come from Wikimedia. It's an excellent resource for like public domain pictures. It's like every picture taken by the military while on duty is automatically public domain. So like there's tons of images on Wikimedia. Um, and I found that helicopter one. I went through a lot actually. There's a lot of pictures I went through, but that one stuck the most. Uh, when I added like the, the desert camo on the, and the logo and everything, that's the picture that fit the most. It's like, an, it's like an homage to the other records, but it's not a cassette tape, it's like a normal album cover. Yeah. So I'd say the biggest influences, a lot of slam and brutal death metal bands for this new record. I, I would say the biggest one for me is Cephalotropsy. I listen to their debut record so much, like every single day, like I'm addicted to it for like two years straight, it's crazy. So many other bands like Volvectomy, their debut. I love Discords, like I could keep going on and on. I would, I wanna put in for the first three albums, a lot of free jazz, um, a lot of like just avant-garde influences. So like John Coltrane, Arnett Coleman, Derek Bailey, Pharaoh Sanders is a gigantic one. So yeah, th th it's a ton of influences. I, I like to listen to like anything that excites my brain. I would say number one is music. Uh, oh no, 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 I changed that. It's art in general. Just art in general, any art form is the greatest thing in the world. But number two, I would say, I, I guess this is a more personal level, but I think my friends as the, the second best thing in the world. It's my bandmates. I've known, I've known like half of them since I was like 14. We've just all been really good friends for so long. I love them so much. Number three, I'm gonna say the video game Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Don't ever stop. Just keep going. Just, it gets unmotivating sometimes, especially like if you're starting from scratch and you're building your way up. It feels daunting, it feels exhausting sometimes, but just keep with it and with time you'll get it and it'll be the most rewarding thing in the world because you can create something from your soul that you can put out into this world. To me, that's like living forever, is like putting, putting a piece of yourself into the world via physical media or any media. It's like, that's the most important thing. So yeah, just never stop and play the songs that you love. That was, that was my number one thing. And also uh, play Rock Band, the video game Rock Band, Guitar Hero. That was another, uh, another good motivator for me, for sure. Thank you, Lawn Chair Youth. This has been 10 Questions with Torture. Fuck yeah.